Hello there. This is Miss Karen from the North Riverside Public Library Youth Services Department. I have a craft for you today. This one is made out of um, toilet paper rolls, empty ones, or paper towel rolls. Um, this is a paper towel shamrock and super easy, fun, um, creative, and it's all your own. Well, here you go. We're going to start with all the supplies that you need. You need a pair of scissors. Tough ones are good ones. A toilet paper roll. I colored mine green. You can paint it or you can color it, but you, that may come later. But I decided to color it before we cut it or before I started um, instead of painting it. So I colored one side with a crayon. I'm sorry. Whoops. With a crayon. And then this side was with marker. So you could see the difference in them. And you're going to smash it flat. So it is actually round, but you're going to smash it flat. And green markers or crayons. Um, if you want to paint it, you can paint it. It just takes more time to um, dry it. And you want to actually color it with markers and mar um, crayons prior to cutting them. If you paint them, you need to cut them first. And that's where I'll walk you through that. All right. And glue or glue stick. I prefer Elmer's glue or school glue, white glue. Um, it takes a while to dry, but it will solidify and it'll be harder. This may not stick as firm because it is a thick piece of paper. It's a toilet paper roll. And the, uh, the thicker the glue, it takes a little bit of time to, to dry, but you want to actually have um, a solid um, glue, so, solid adhesive. So I prefer this. You can try it with this, and I don't think it'll work as much, but you need glue regardless. Okay, let's put that all aside for now, and we're going to get started. All right, who's green? Who wants to be, make a shamrock? All right, what I did is I colored, I actually smashed it in half, the toilet paper roll. You want to do that. You want to make sure that there's a good crease on both ends. I colored this side with crayon just to show you what it looks like. And then I colored this side with marker. You can do the whole thing with marker, but I wanted to show you the difference. Okay, if you paint it, do not paint it until you cut the pieces out for your shamrock. So let's get started on the crayon and the marker part. What you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut about a half inch to an inch. Maybe I'd eyeball it and you want to cu uh, cut it straight out like that. And you want to do the same thing four times. You know, so you want four, four of these. All right. There we go. Two. Three. Four. Okay. You won't need this. You can make it. You can use it for a second one if you'd like to do that. Um, you just cut the rest of it like this. Two. You can get two shamrocks out of this. Okay. There you go. You get eight pieces out of that. All right. So you put four to the side for another rainy day or something else you want to do. Uh, another shamrock you might want to do. All right. If you choose to paint them, this would be bare. Okay. Uh, when you paint them, you have to, of course, let it dry and you can color or paint the inside of it as well. You can always use the crayon too or markers and color those inside too. Um, that is easier to do the inside when it's this small. When it's large and it's uncut, it's harder to color the interior, the inside of it. 
So I will color the inside of one of them here. I'll try my other marker. And I will color the interior of it just so you know what I'm doing. Can you see what I'm doing? Of course, you're going to get some marker on your table. So you want to make do it on newspaper or a mess mat. And you can see how I'm doing this inside. Okay. Okay, so that's what happens when you want to color it. You can do it with marker, a green marker. And these are going to be your shamrocks, okay? There we go. All right. All right. So you have your in side as well as your outside colored green okay so i would do that with all of these what i want to do when i'm all done with my coloring or painting make sure it's it's dry when it's when you paint you want to take your loop hold the bottom here on the bottom and then you want to push this end up or down I should say and kind of roll it this is coming apart so what I want to do is actually glue stick it you may end up having problems like that and you might want to glue stick it okay it'll stick better if you put glue stick on but when it comes to the craft you want to there we go perfect okay so you want to make sure you have a complete round circle then you pinch the bottom and you're going to make a heart like this kind of hard to do unless you go this way and try it this way all right and you pinch it on the inside like it here you pinch it on the bottom and you pinch it in the middle see how I'm doing that and you have a little bit of a heart okay and a little bit of a heart all right so that is your first heart all right that's one you want to do that with the rest of them you want to do the same thing with all with three of them there we go yeah, this one's actually stiff they're very stiff okay so you want to actually make it round you can work it with your finger and then you pinch it on the inside like that crease it real good there you go you get a round circle that's another leaf okay one more same thing you bend it and pinch it on the inside whoopses let's try the other side and then we're going to pinch it on the inside see how i'm doing that okay very good so there it is it's a little heart here is you part of your shamrock okay this part since you have four of them is your stem and you can take your marker and you can roll it to make it a curved stem see how i'm making that you just put your finger on the top and you roll it and there's your stem like that you can put it up there like this there's your shamrock now all you have to do is glue it and of course it's gonna with the white glue it's gonna take a little time and it's gonna solidify once it dries so you have to be patient and make sure the edges are smooth all right let's get this go glue going there we go okay we're gonna get some glue going just like that and we're gonna put it next to the second one then this one you're going to take and you're going to put some glue on it 
okay? And you're going to put it on the other side of the middle one, okay? Then you're going to take your stem and put a little glue on that, just like that. And then you're going to put it on the side of the one of the other shamrocks. And there you go. So when you when you color it on the inside, you could see the difference. I col colored it on the inside of this one only. But if you color it on the inside of the other two, it'll be all green. And that is your shamrock. It's not quite dry, but this is what it looks like. All right, here we go. All right, if you like to make shamrocks or something on that order, you can make a four leaf clover if you like. You could do four of them if you like. But this one is always fun. This is a four, the uh, Irish shamrock. That's what I call it. Well, happy St. Patrick's Day, and I hope you enjoyed this shamrock making. And super easy, and you have this material at home. So I think you're going to have a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.